Okay, look, let me tell you, tell you what's going on. Like I said, this is the assignment. I'm supposed to be reading this book, and I was going to do it, blah, blah, blah. However, I, something happened, and I'm bored and obsessed. That's all I can say. I'm just bored and obsessed. Let me, let me, let me, let me get this. Let me, let me, well, look. Well, okay, how do I say this? Let me let me just read this passage to you, then maybe I can go from there, right? Um, I'm trying to read over. The, I'm trying to read over the reading glasses. Let me read through the reading glasses. Here we go. Um, Though most of my teachers were white, many were black, and some of the white teachers were definitely on the left. They opposed Franco's Spain and Mussolini's Italy and Hitler's Third Reich. For these extreme opinions, several were placed on blacklists and drummed out of the academia, act, uh, drummed out of the academic community, to the everlasting shame of the community. The black teachers, paradoxically, were another matter. They were laconic about politics, single, uh, but single-minded about the future of black students. Whoa, laconic. I gotta look that word up. What is, let me see what I say again. They, this is James Baldwin. You know, he got some words, right? They were laconic about politics, but single minded about the future of black students. Many of them were survivors of the Harlem Renaissance and wanted us black students to know that we could do what, to know what, know that we could do, become anything. We were not in any way whatsoever to be limited by the Republic's estimation of black people. They refused, they had refused to be defined that way and they had, after all, paid some dues. Whoa, laconic, I think I, I wrote, just a second, I wrote it. <laughs> Let's look up the word laconic. Hold on a second, hold on. Did I write it down Okay, here it is, here it is. I wrote, I wrote it here, I wrote it here. Laconic. Oh, James, hold on. Be reverence for James right here. James, be good. Sacred. I wrote it down because, you know, when you write, you're supposed to write, you know, this whole thing. I mean, I know I got the phone. I could, we could hit the phone and see how to, how to pronounce it and all the rest of that stuff. Laconic is an adjective. You can look up what adjective is, right? Of a person's speech or style of writing. Then they give an example as if, his laconic reply suggested a lack of interest in the topic. Okay, now here, here's, here's some, I guess, uh, same, S, same sentence, synonyms. Here's some synonyms, right? Brief, concise, uh, terse, succinct, short, economical, ecliptical. I don't know what that is either. Chris, pithy. Oh, I like the word pithy. I've used that word pithy. It's a good word. <laughs> Pithy, right? Uh, com compendious, 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 abrupt, blunt, curt, monosyllab monosyllabic, 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 something like that. Gruff, sharp, taut. See, the thing is, if you can't pronounce some words, you can use some other words for it, right? All those kind of rhythm. Then they have the opposite that would be, I think that's antonyms. The antonyms, opposite. Verbose, I like that word. Long winded. Here we go. Loquacious, I like that word too. Here we go. Oh, be breathing, you know. Loquacious. Wait a second, man. That's the, wait, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Let me change glasses, man. Let me change glasses. Hold on. Let me put on my cool glasses. Got it from the VA. Loquacious, loquacious. Oh man! And you know, I'm I'm I'm, I'm a Cancer. You know, see, three. I'm born on the third of July. I'm a, I'm a Cancer three, and three is supposed to be. We're supposed to be. This is why I know this word. We're supposed to be loquacious. I like that word. Anyway, so I bring up all that stuff because, like, hey, I'm thinking just like he said. You know what I mean? You know, black. The state that we're in right now. Let me, 
to get some black cherry juice. I got to put some black in me. You know what I mean? Because a lot of times, you know, what's happening, we, you know, people are trying, some people, they got black in them, but they're not exhibiting that, 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 that loquaciousness, you know? They're not being verbose. They're trying to be blunt, you know, <laughs> which is good. So you can be blunt, loquacious, whatever it is. But here's the thing, man. It's, it's only black cherry in it. And that's what you said. It's just black cherry. Pure black cherry. Mm. Nice. So here's what I'm thinking, right? Because I was talking to Eugene Remen earlier because it was supposed to be an event, you know, outside event, and they, they, they how do you say, they, they canceled it. Not because of COVID, some technical thing, whatever. Outside event, outside. It's this poetry event here. Well, I'm in St. Louis, but it's in East St. Louis. No, it, yeah, it was in East St. Louis. Anyway. And so I saw that, uh, okay, but I couldn't go anyway because uh, I, I, I couldn't go anyway only because my friend here, he's got to go, he's, he's got to do something and blah, blah, blah. And I was, it anyway, doesn't matter. Okay. Here's the thing, right? I'm thinking, this is quite interesting because Eugene was talking about me because another friend of mine said, it's kind of interesting you were here in this, this time period. You're sort of stuck here. And then I realized in reading Baldwin, like Baldwin has said, I've heard one of his speeches when they say he was a witness. He was a witness. You know, he's not, people say, well, you, but he said, no, he was a witness to the times. You know what I mean? He was in Paris, we're in France, you know, and he came back and he was merely a witness. He wasn't trying to be no leader or nothing like that, right? I'm not, I'm not going to be no leader. And so the same thing happened to me. Then Eugene said something to me. He said, Baldwin also said he was a traveler, but like a traveler through life. I'm going to realize. Hey, this is the same thing. Again, I'm not comparing myself to James Baldwin. I mean, I, he used the word laconic. So I can't, you know, like that. And so I'm thinking, wow, you know, that's true. That's sort of really true. And then I'm, I'm also thinking certain things that's happening, like there's going to be, like next month, uh, a new, uh, they're going to, re they're going to, what was what was, what was Redmond tell me? They're going to uh, republish or you know a, a, a new edition of Needs of a Natural Man, Henry Duma uh, book. Hey, I'm in the Henry Duma. They're just it's the ups, the best. Don't worry, you'll, you'll find out about. It. So that that's going to happen. But then next year, in the spring, so next month, the Needs of a Natural Man is coming out. Then next year in the spring, Echo Tree is coming back out. They got another edition of Echo Tree, but this one's going to have a, a, like a like a, what, a glossary in it or something like that because it's got some words in this, you know. Had to be putting some words in there, like, you know, like, boy, he put some words in there. You could have, but his words, like, really, like, you know, whatever. So, he's a poet, too, you know. So I'm thinking, like, wow, he's right. I'm here for a reason. I'm not a reason, but I'm here as a witness, you know. I'm here as a traveling witness. And what's, what's my duties? What am I supposed to be doing? You know what I mean? That kind of thing. But actually, I don't think about that. I just keep on flowing. I just flow, go with the flow, you know? So I say that only to say the stuff that's happening now, you know, the, 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 these upheavals that we're, where people are, uh, are seeing, I mean, I think we all have to just go with it. But just like James was saying about the, the black kids got, you know, or the black students, the, uh, the black people have another kind of mission. You know what I mean? I'm not talking about, uh, yes, we have all these, um, the stuff that's happening in the streets, whatever happened, but you know, that, that, to me, is like, the, the people is jumping in front of the thing and saying they're, they're claiming black and they, they have their own reasons for doing it, that's fine. But I think the, the black people, the women, I'm talking about ADOS, let me put it that way. Henry Dumas ADOS, you know, Eugene Redman ADOS, James Bowen ADOS, hey, for that matter, my grand nephew, he ADOS, see? See what he's saying? Power to the peoples, right? He's ADOS, right? That would be the American descendant of slavery, or like I say, the North American descendants of chattel slavery. Um, uh, so we have a different spin on this. We have a different focus, right? But people want to take down statues, whatever we do and change the things. They think that changing things, whatever happens, we come, be careful what you wish for. And all that stuff. Our thing is, is laser focus. 
born out of from the from the I mean, this for literary wise from from the Harlem Renaissance, you know, through the fifties, you know, early fifties. I'm talking about Richard right now. Uh, through through the late fifties into the sixties, talking about James Baldwin right now. And through 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 the sixties and then uh, through sixties, but then Henry Dumont through the sixties. On oh, that's a different mission. We're on a different mission. So we need to be focused and not be distracted by these upheavals, these uh, whatever. No, no, no. ADOS. That's what we have to focus on. The, the, you said, well, about the elections? Yeah, that's right, elections. You write in ADOS. <laughs> hey, let the white people and let the people on the statue people and the people that's jumping in front of Black Lives Matter, let them do what they need to do. We, that's not our, as they, as they say in, in one of the uh, ocean pictures, that's not our fight. Okay, that's not our, no, no. You see, this is my, this is what I'm witnessing. This is what I'm trying to say. This is my travel and my witnessing. The reason why I'm here is because of ADOS. I wouldn't be here. You know, I, I, I originally wanted to come for the second conference that we're supposed to have in October. We ain't going to have it, I guess not. You know what I mean? Because I was at the first one, you know? So all I'm trying to say is, like, stay on point. You know, people got to do what they got to do. Everybody's everybody's doing what they're doing, but ADOS has got to be that, that slither. That, that. Stay on point. That's just a little message from me. T, from the Pattersons. I think this is Pattersons there. It's Africa. Oh, here we go. Patterson's up there, New York. Patterson, I mean, the, the South Bronx, you know, Mount Haven section of South Bronx, uh, New York. Taking the train. Let's go to Canada. I don't have to go to Canada. I can take I can take the, there's a train that goes from, um, I think, Chicago to Seattle. I need to take the train up through Alaska, Russia, to Tibet. Letting you know what I only suspect.